I'm Bob Ginetti from InfernoTherm Corporation. And what we're going to do now is show you why the InfernoTherm burner is better than the competition. Right here is where InfernoTherm builds every component having to do with that burner. Out of quarter inch plate, three eight plate, rolled, fitted, welded, and machined. Okay, we're going to run you through it now just to give you an idea of the durability that this Inferno Therm burner has and why they've been out in the market for 50 years and why we get them in, we rebuild them after 30 years and they still come out like brand new. Inferno Therm Corporation fabricates every component going into its units under one roof. We are a complete vertical operation. Our burners are second to none in the industry. Everything is, is, is virtually bulletproof, made of solid steel, all done right here in Keyport in this factory. There's no other organization that does what we do. This is our gas ring. Our gas ring is specifically designed to maximize efficiency. We have a 33 degree angle on every hole that gets incorporated into every gas ring. This gives more complete burn rather than just pumping the, the raw natural gas into a combustion area in the burner. Everything is fabricated here. This is the air turret on the Inferno Therm burner. As you can see, it's made out of quarter inch steel, rolled, fitted, machined. This, is, this spiral is what creates the high pressure zone when the air comes around and shoots down a fire tube that gives us the efficiency of scale with the Inferno Therm burner. Combustion head for an Inferno Therm burner. This is filled with high temperature refactory. This bolts onto the air turret, and this is where ignition takes place. You got the electrodes, the oil nozzle, and or the gas supply for the, for the pilot come through and are bolted onto a nozzle assembly plate on this. And again, as you can see, virtually indestructible. <coughs> this is the beginning of a gas base for an Inferno Therm burner. This is the void that the gas supply goes through and the gas ring, which creates a spiral pattern as we spoke about before, that gives us the, the spiral down the fire tube so that the fire scrubs the inside of the fire tube all the way down. Over here you see some smaller Inferno Therm fan housings. Again, motor mount plate made out of 3-8 plate, all made in this factory. Machined, cut, countersunk right here so that every plate is interchangeable 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Oil pump collar, same thing, made here. The oil pump will fit on here. The oil pump collar, made here. As you can see, total vertical operation. All gets welded in, virtually indestructible. This is an Inferno Therm Model 400 straight oil burner. As you can see, it's made out of solid steel. You'll never find another burner on the market like this. Inferno Therm fan housing, which we saw in the machine shop, slides into the, into the air turret, bolted up, and trued up. When you look at this burner, you have to realize something. Our burners are indestructible, absolutely bulletproof. It would take more than a backhoe or a bucket loader to knock this thing out of commission. The competition's burner, as you can see, it's made out of sheet metal. It's got a drip, 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 drip proof enclosure. The Inferno Therm Burner has a NEMA 4 weather tight enclosure. The Inferno Therm Burner uses a two horsepower, totally enclosed electric motor. The competition uses a drip, open drip, one horsepower motor. This is what's on your attic fan. Explanation about the high pressure zone and the swirl of the air of the air turret. This is how they do it. This has been around only for about 25 years. This is called a diffuser plate. They do not get the same back pressure that it, that the Inferno Therm burner achieves. Inferno Therm burner can fire against six inches of back pressure in a, in a combustion chamber using our patented cloverleaf. 
That's how we gain efficiencies. This burner fires down a much larger fire tube with no back pressure, only up to two inches. We've done tests. We've had stack temperatures on these, this equipment of over a thousand degrees. Comparable inferno therm burners, stack temperatures have only been at 450 degrees. Statistics will tell you that that is where stack temperature should be to burn off moisture and all impurities in the fuel. What we're looking at here is an inferno therm 2.8 million BTU model 400 burner. This is a gas oil combination burner. We use all UL approved controls and as you can see the air turret, this is a refractory poured gas base. High temperature refractory is poured, air dried and then kiln dried. This protects the, the head of the fire of, of the tank keeping the fire five inches into, inside the fire tube. The competition uses a thermal blanket. It's not as safe. Model 400 straight oil burner. Again, as you can see, you saw it in its infant stages in the back. This is a complete burner, ready to go on you to go out the door. 2,850 gallons per hour recovery on the hot water. Again, as you can see, two horsepower totally enclosed motor. We use all fire eye controls, combustion head. Again, indestructible. Indestructible. You've seen this on our logo. This is the patented Inferno Therm Clover Leaf. This is what creates the back pressure which works in conjunction with this high pressure zone in this air turret. The, these, these pieces are made at a high temperature refactory. This is installed along with other pieces in the, in the fire tube which can, com, creates an actual combustion chamber. This is unlike anybody else on the market. We get six inches of back pressure in the forward combustion zone. These refractories will glow red hot which atomizes the fuel better, which gives you a more efficient burn. We achieve lower stack temperatures because we are, we are gaining efficiency in the burn cycle of the fuel being used. Being we create six inches of back pressure in a forward combustion chamber, our stack temperatures end up being approximately 450 degrees on a 2.8 million BTU burner. We've done tests and seen com competitor stack temperatures who cannot use Back cannot obtain back pressure in the forward combustion chamber, have stack temperatures of 1,000, 1,100, and 1,200 degrees. This is the trick to the whole unit. This makes the entire system operate as the most efficient burning, burning system on the market today.